Yemen. A moment for the history books. Presidents Barack Obama and Raul Castro have held the first formal face-to-face -face talks between leaders of the USA and Cuba in over half a century. Meeting at a summit in Panama, they agreed to press ahead with improving relations. After decades of hostility, key differences remain, but the focus now is on the future. My message here is the Cold War is over, and I think that we have to be very clear uh, you know, Cuba is not a threat to the United States. We are not in the business of regime change. Uh, we are in the business of making sure the Cuban people have freedom and the ability to participate and shape their own destiny and their own lives and supporting civil society. President Castro condemned past U.S. attempts to topple communist rule on Cuba, but said he was open to discussing human rights. And he praised President Obama, calling him an honest man. I see as a positive step his recent statements that he'll quickly decide to remove Cuba from a list of countries that sponsor terrorism, on which we should never have been included. Symbolism at this summit of leaders of the Americas follows concrete steps taken to end hostilities. But the U.S. trade embargo against Cuba can only be lifted by the Republican-controlled Congress.